All righty, good morning, everyone, and welcome to SAEM's Chief Resident Forum 2022. Can folks hear me? Awesome, okay, folks in the back, back corner, give me the, perfect, okay. Well, welcome everyone. Uh, we are so excited that you joined us for what I believe is the very best part of SAEM this year. Um, my name is Matt Stull. I'm one of the co-chairs of the Chief Resident Forum Subcommittee. And he's also the PD in Cleveland at University Hospital Case Western. Um, my name's Carolyn Holland. I'm the co-chair of this, and I'm at the University of Florida in Gainesville. And we've been running this for a few years now, and every year we take input. So the one thing that we ask, um, in addition to your participation, is that you do fill out the feedback at the end so that we can make this continue to improve every year as more and more um, you know, chief residents get trained. Those of you just coming in, there's plenty of seats up front, so don't feel like you have to sit on the floor or anything. Um, awesome. Um, so as we get started, just a couple ground rules for the day. First and foremost, all of our speakers are going to be talking about things like leadership and scheduling. Uh, and none of them have conflicts of interest, so don't worry. No one's like in the pocket of big schedule or anything like that that you have to worry about. Uh, well, you are about to be, but that's a different story. Uh, second is you really truly get what you put in. This is an adult experience. You all are adults. Leave and come as you go. We'll show the sort of agenda. We've updated it a little bit today. Um, but please do not feel the need. If you're like over it, go ahead and get out for a little while. I hope you're not over it. We work really hard to make this the best experience possible. Uh, but realistically, try to throw your all into this. One of the things Carolyn and I have learned over the years is you have less and less attention spans. And we know that. And so the day has gotten shorter and shorter and shorter. I promise you, you will be out of here by 2.30, which gives you plenty of time for you to go and set up, because I know I'm looking at my chiefs and expecting you to set up the booth at the resident forum, right? Uh, or at the residency fair. So we will get you out of here with plenty of time to get you over there. <laughs> Didn't know that was a thing? You should probably touch base about that. Uh, Next up is, if you guys haven't, you should use Slack, okay? We'll talk about Slack as a tool for you to manage your residency potentially throughout the day, but this is the QR code. Slack is a great tool to kind of keep the conversation going. Think of it as like an, well, are you guys even old enough to remember AOL chat rooms? I don't know. God, she's shaking her head. No, I feel elderly. Awesome. Nonetheless, uh, this is an opportunity for us to keep the conversation going. Obviously, we have the best speakers, bar none, I would argue, um, and they're always happy to take your questions, but we also have to stay on time. And so if you guys have a lot of questions and want to you know, put things out there for your other co-chiefs around the country or in your region or anything like that, Slack is a great way to keep this conversation going. So you'll see this code throughout. I've seen a lot of people take the uh, QR code already. If you're not sold yet, maybe by the end of the day you'll, you'll be sold, okay? And again, the hope is, so there used to be this thing called the chief resident incubator that kind of doesn't exist anymore. So this is a chance for you to network with chiefs around the country. So in two months, you're like, oh crap, like we have this problem. And, and while the presentations were amazing at the chief resident forum, it didn't address this problem. And you can post a question on Slack and your fellow chiefs around the country may have dealt with something similar and then could give you advice. And so, so we want this to hopefully be an ongoing sort of communication tool, networking tool for all of you. We're not going to like give you mandatory assignments or anything thing like that. Um, it's more of a resource than, a, than an obligation. Perfect. So my job is to like cheer you on because what you are about to do is amazing. You are about to devote a year of your life to the however many other residents and faculty in your program. And for that, you guys deserve applause, okay? You definitely do, because it's gonna be a rough year. No matter if it goes perfectly, it's gonna be rough, okay? So, I want you guys to recognize this is a place where we're gonna talk about and give you some skills, hopefully, that you can apply over the course of this next year. And we've been really thoughtful about the way we do this. The challenge of chiefing is it's not just about making a schedule. It's not just about 
building a good conference schedule. It is about your leadership. And as a recovering chief myself, I will tell you that realistically, there is no better leadership experience at this stage of your career than you can have than this, okay? It is a unique perspective, as you'll hear over the course of the day. And so, in order to sort of both scratch the itch of you being nervous about making a schedule, making conference, dealing with the you know, challenging resident, we also want you guys to be thinking about how to grow as leaders as the day goes on. So after, in between each presentation, we're gonna throw out a couple thought questions. I would love, there are pens and papers in the middle of the table, feel free to grab them. Would love if you just scribed a little something down to yourself. Feel free to post it in Slack if you want to, but I really do want you to take a second each time we throw a question up to think to yourself, like what commitment am I gonna make as a result of this? So big high level questions I want you to guys think about. What are you most anxious about? What are, pe what are you here for? Why are you sweaty right now besides the New Orleans heat and humidity? Well, She's a PEM. Uh, right, just, uh, just to, you gotta keep that in mind. Uh, but no, that's exactly right. So take a second, reflect on this, and we'll go to another one. There are open chairs up front, people who are just coming in. If you have an open chair at your table, can you guys raise your hand so people don't have to search? Thank you. Okay, here's the next question we want you to think about. Write down an answer to yourself. What's the thing that excites you most about becoming a chief resident? Hopefully it's not just the same thing that you're the most scared of, but what is it that really is like, wow, this is why I wanted to be chief? There's seats down front. Come on up if you're coming in. Lots of seats up front. Well, a couple seats up front. Okay, and our final thought question for this morning is what is one strength, one strength that you possess that's gonna ensure you have success this year as chief? Yes, this is your chance to humble brag. Some of you will struggle, some of you will have 16 strengths, but humble brag here, what's the one strength you wanna use this year to succeed? <laughs> 